push-ups. What's up, push-ups? What freaked me out about Pearl was her agreeing with the endure oh abuse God. guy from the whatever oh, podcast. Horrible. With him? Wait, I need some context for this. Horrible. No. So, I started- so that was yes. I watched all five hours of that podcast that, just to- that whatever with Destiny. Yes, I'm still halfway through it. <laughs> oh, it, it's just it my was brain. Five hours long. They're so long. It's like five mm-hmm. hours and forty-one minutes. Wow, that's like I, I go one point five, and I watched all of it. <laughs> wow, just to make sure I they didn't say it's out of context. context. No, no, no. <laughs> I actually, well, so mm-hmm. funny thing was, so I know that like you, Brittany, have like beef with Destiny, but I don't know anything about him, and so I saw it pop up and it was live. So I was like, oh, cool, I'll, I'll watch it, and while I paint, and so. I, I started at the middle or and then I went back to the beginning and then I, I ended up just watching the whole thing because I'm like, I already got this far through. I need to finish it. <laughs> and then the thing at the end when they're like saying that stuff, I'm like, oh, my God. I was disgusted when I heard that. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? Did you, you guys hear about him? But after the fact, by the way, Evan Preach made a video and apparently the guy, they found texts of him saying he would uh, batter women. And then he actually, I think, got arrested for hitting a woman in the head. Which one? Model. The one who Which said, one? endure, endure, the feminine one. Oh, okay. So that guy, he said earlier on, he talks about his philosophy and he's something about staying fit, making money and doing this. And I'm like, but you're fat. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's just staying <laughs> fat. Um, is it the MLD guy or whatever? Yes. And I'm just, he's talking about yeah. fitness. And I'm like, motherfucker, put down the cheeseburger then. Like, <laughs> like you know, when he, you can tell when a guy is fat and he's wearing he's a blazer. He's a big boy. That he's <laughs> fat. I'm like, motherfucker, you're fat. And you're preaching about fitness. <laughs> yeah, What's his boy? name on I'm Instagram? He, uh, Pull up his thing. He got laid into by um, a girl. Oh, uh, he was a jackass a the whole and episode. Yeah, like yeah, you want to eat you were gonna talk like about narcissists women or whatever later on. Or... Oh, he is mm-hmm. a narcissist, and yeah, no, oh my god, like and watching mm-hmm. that stream like the entire time, like you know when somebody's sitting there like with a smirk on their face and they're just like, I'm better than everyone here. That was him the entire time, and I'm like. Coffee. It, they're not and, and that's the thing about the the like the red pill movement that i don't agree with it's like all these guys who have money and status they're like you need to do this and you're like oh, you know your audience is not does anybody know this guy's name he deleted his instagram he did, oh, he did. Oh, his name was so cringy it was like it's something stupid like hot guy something something i forgot what it was what was it <laughs> oh, yeah it was something really it. dumb <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna google him or i'll i'll pull up the episode and we can uh okay yeah i'm very behind on this have you watched any of it chrissy no okay no. yeah well basically went- they had destiny and his wife come on to debate the the op- basically the opposite side about mm-hmm. dating and relationships Does and life, like are they in an open relationship yes yes, yes. No? yes. yes. okay they, yeah. They're very open about it on that podcast, too. Ugh, mm-hmm. I don't know. It sounds cool, but I don't know. I think uh, I w- I think it speaks volumes. Like, if a guy wants you all to himself, it's like, yeah, he really he's really fucking into you. And I don't know. That's like a that's like a turn on for me, too. And it's like I, I just feel like when you're young and stupid, you try to do like a, the, the whole open relationship thing. But it's like, Did how he it down? Oh, no, I what? thought, I, I thought it was on. Oh, the podcast? So many live streams since there, then. There was only one live stream that he had to take down. <laughs> oh, the boob. Right, boob. Let's this up. <laughs> boob check. Oh, Vin, you found this. Uh, <laughs> whose Instagram is this? So oh. that's the guy that said injure abuse in the clip that went viral. This hot is his hot Instagram. Hot dude, hot dude life. Hot dude life. Hot dude life. Like this is networking. That- Miami. He literally oh, looks God. like he works at a pizzeria. Like I feel I like know. I have to order oh a pizza pie from him. The fact that two of his things are networking in Miami tells me everything I need to know about this person. Oh, he so brags about himself. not living in America. He's like, I got out of America in 2016. Da 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 da. Like so much better because he doesn't live in America. And I'm like. Motherfucker, do you got a visa or something? Because I know you can't stay out of America for too long or else you're going to get deported. I, 
it. I did not like him. This speaks volumes, his profile. He's so full of himself that he wants to throw all these stats out about it gets how awesome worse. I am. Well, it just does. the name, just the name. Brittany's look right. This, like, look cringe. at the screenshot that I. I don't know what part you want me to go to of this, but so the way this podcast happens is this: it's always this side of the table versus the other side of the table. Right. Is these so, how many of these women are mannequins? One, uh, one. And oh. she's not in shot right now. No, here, let me see. <laughs> okay. oh, here she is. Here she, okay. that, there you go. That, oh, that's shit. Her. All right. I, I, okay. I thought the regular <laughs> women were mannequins. All right. <laughs> no, shit. Oh, my God. So this chick uh-huh. was like a troll and trolled uh, them for like three hours before they kicked her off. It was kind of funny how long she lasted. It was. <laughs> <laughs> the girl, the, the, the brunette is the troll? Yeah. Yeah, she's, she's like, the troll. Yeah. She okay. wanted to not talk about if she was a virgin or not the entire podcast. <laughs> That oh, whole wow. part that she was on. Well, the, because De- the reason Destiny that they asked questions is like that Destiny's C. wife right next to him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Brittany, what were you saying? Uh, I was saying the reason that questions like that get asked is because it's just humiliation porn. Uh, it's a yeah. way to like, oh, what's your body count? Oh, number too high. Uh, what do you rate yourself? Any number? Oh, number too high. And then they try to <laughs> humble you, type of thing. It's it's very overplayed at this point so i don't blame people for wanting to troll those type of it's questions. like modern day jerry springer in my opinion like yeah. it's yes! so that's such a good way to crystallize yeah, you're right but people love away. it like this is very entertaining these clips do very well i do there's been a like a, but it's a lot worse. of viral moments they're they're like their branding is very good you know it's it's Jerry Springer was more honest. It was like everyone knew it was trash. You're watching it to be entertained for trash. The the type of podcasts that go on right now where it's like very clip heavy and people get the gotcha clips um, and they don't really actually talk about anything intellectual. It's just a humiliation porn fest for people to jack well, off to essentially. It's we like, oh, it's philosophical, but it's not. Well, well and that's the, the reason why I, I really don't like these types of panels that just want to hate on women. They're like, oh, you think you're a 10? You're more like a 2. I'm like, okay, what's your opinion? Everyone's opinion on each other's looks are their own, so. Right. I will say whatever is more tame than, like, fresh and fit or something like that, but I see some of the same themes with the humiliation porn, and it gets tired. So this is Destiny and his wife. Mm-hmm. It. Anyone smart enough could see through it. And they're in an open yeah, marriage. And then these other girls. Are, that this are is they, Jerry Springer. Are these girls also in open relationships or were they? No. no. Okay, so this is Destiny and his wife. They're in an open relationship. This is their friend who's there to troll. This girl, uh, it was very cringy. So she's like, these two, I guess, are friends. And they both said that they're feminists. And... I mean, you don't have to like Destiny to know that he has a high IQ, but she spent like half an hour trying to explain a point and he was sitting there, you know, just like, I think biting his tongue. And then finally he like in one sentence basically explains what she tried to explain in 30 minutes. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Which is he sad. Is so this smart. girl he is, is so that I, I would have rather had this chick on than this chick. This chick is autistic and like just blurts out random shit and go makes the conversation go off in a tangent. It's so and it's, awkward too. It's so annoying. And I'm like, just shut up. And the whole time she's drooling over the religious guy, but she has a boyfriend. Uh-huh. Ew! Yeah, so what? Yeah. Why is she like, yeah, yeah you're, you're, you're really cute. Well, and she's, <laughs> he's giving shit to Destiny and his wife the whole time. She's like, you're disgusting. While she has a boyfriend and she's been drooling over the other guy on the podcast the whole time. So I'm like, uh, this chick has like a huge platform. She gives men dating advice. And I don't know why she's on this side of the table, but she talks like once the whole stream. Wait, so wow. was the girl in the red still drooling after the abuse clip? Yes, because she agrees uh, with them. Oh, I, I, I watched like I think I watched like about an hour and a half of of this episode. Like I watched the clip and I watched before it, so I didn't get to catch that part. But that's really gross. Like it, it's really sad. And then the, the, uh, I think Melina brought up a question: is like, what if your daughter was in that situation? And mm-hmm. I think one of the guys was like, I kill. Uh, yeah, John I'd- Doyle was like, oh, I would kill him. I I think it was him that said it. What? Um, no, it, I think it was the other guy, and I don't think anyone said I, they would kill him. I mean, it was like a, it was a quick, it was a quick little. Let me get it. 
Someone Here we go. Oh, wow. Look at those uh, show notes. Man. The only reason I, I noticed the, the thing that I'm talking about <laughs> is that. because um, it was either Adam <gasps> Preach or um, Critical brought it up and they zoomed in on it when it was said. It was like a quick little mutter like, oh, I would kill him like that. I it think I, it was Adam and Preach because I watched that video. Yeah. So you know what I'm talking about. The When mm -hmm. they asked, oh, but what if it were your daughter? It was the guy oh, with the curly him. hair, the purple shirt guy that said that. Yeah, yeah it was Doyle. Doyle. Yeah. Oh yeah, and this guy like he he doesn't yeah, talk that Joe, much, but yeah. then they're, they're like go and talk, and he's like, well, I'm autistic and I can't really respond at, in you know one sentence. I have to do a monologue, and so the <laughs> host goes to the bathroom, and so he just goes on this random monologue about nothing that had to do with anything <laughs> oh, that they no. were talking about. And I'm like, I get that you're autistic, but you really like the sound of your own voice, dude. That's John Doyle for you. <laughs> I know that like, these two are two of the most narcissistic people I have ever seen. And I've been on the internet for years and I'm just like, holy fucking shit. It's like the low amount of empathy. It's there, there was, you watch the energy shift from when they ask about abuse to when they ask about, oh, what if a woman cheats? Immediately that whole side is like, oh, oh, oh getting uppity. But I when they ask about abuse, where was that totally energy? Totally agree. It's, it's, there's only empathy when it has to do with themselves, right? Their mm. daughter, themselves. But that's they don't why they're so care. selfish. <laughs> So Should we start playing this at uh, the four? But they're also they'll also so promote it, like men cheating though. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Let me reshare it so and I have to be audio. Catholic and do that too. By the way, some of the people on that panel that were saying that uh, or yeah. align with and that rather, I should say. Are Catholic. Okay, like, so sure, here's the Catholic. thing with that. My family, my dad's entire side of the family, are like devout Catholics, and I mean the shit that he's saying. It's like yes. Catholic Church does acknowledge divorce. They also recently started acknowledging gay marriage. So everything that this purple shirt says is bullshit. Yeah. And, and I will say that they do say at one point, or Melina asks at one point, like, is abuse worse than cheating? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So I mean, it might be bad. in this clip, so I don't want to ruin it and entirely. Said, okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's start it up. Okay. Hey, guys, 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 yeah, guys. Let her talk, please, please. It was. You did start. You did start. Let's let's start. Hey, guys, let's let okay, Pixie yeah. speak. You're playing tongue let's hockey stop, with stop, your eyes. Please stop. Let's let Pixie speak. Let's I feel chase. like a lot of times when people use this rhetoric, what they sometimes paint this false picture that it's okay for um, people to stay together if it means not being a single mother household. Um, even if the situation, the relationship is super toxic, abusive, you know, just not healthy. So I agree, single parent, single mother households are horrible. Look at this thing getting so that, bored. But I do think they're better than staying with somebody. So this is what I said earlier. She talks and she takes forever to explain something and Destiny does it in like one sentence. Right. Which, But you know, at least he's kind enough to not put her yeah. down whereas the yeah, other guys rude, yeah totally when the agree. camera cuts over they're like rolling their eyes the one fat guy is like on his phone like half the podcast which is i think why they don't cut over anymore when she talks but and it's like and it's, a lot of their reactions are very performative because they know it'll be clipped like with the the, the big fat mm -hmm. woman talking about like her style and her ysl bag like they they do this performative like react because they know that that'll get clipped and that'll Get oh yeah, Sean's right. The fat guy. Somebody paid a thousand dollars to kick the fat guy off the show, and I was, <gasps> I was clapping. Oh, funny. That's funny. He said, oh. "Get him off for ten minutes," and I was like, "Oh my oh, god!" Oh my god, <laughs> that's great. Wow. I'm not simping for Destiny. I'm saying that at least he's polite enough to no, not. He's be not this girl. He's well spoken. He he are, he's very articulate. I. I he was at that Minds event that I hosted um, totally last agree. summer. Like, there's a reason why he's everywhere. He's a, a very good example of he. He's a leftist that will appear in kind of right wing or centrist spaces, which we which we don't have enough of. So I think that's why he's you know he's he's does a ton of appearances. He, he was way nicer to the that girl at least than the other guys like the other guys are just i i don't know there it costs nothing to be kind you don't have to agree with someone to you be know, polite you don't have to be an asshole to someone basically exactly. but that's what they were doing but anyways here we go 
um, if he's being abusive to you. If no. he's hitting you, you should not raise your child in that environment. You should get your child out of there because that person is being a danger to your family, to you, and to your child. So I agree, I agree with that. Yeah. yeah. Well, but that is still an anomaly. I mean, like we mentioned earlier, this, anomaly, is, a, this is a true statistic. Extreme anomaly. Well, eighty percent of couples can recover from that in five Which years. Which is not even an extreme anomaly. Oh, statistics. By the way. See, that's what Doyle's very good with statistics. But like, you know, what would have been more compelling if this girl was like, "Hey, I was raised in a household. I was abused." Like, I think when you pull it down to a personal experience, sure. nobody can statistic you out of that making that point. You know. Um, so I don't know well, if it's she really is. Oh my God, easy to throw sources. statistics out there. Uh, yeah. Without sources. Of course. Yeah. Well, but this is this is where I'm talking about complete narcissism because everything that comes out of Purple's mouth is Purple. you know, the gift of God and Fatty again, same thing. Like he, ba Fatty thinks he is God. Purple thinks he speaks for God. So it's like, it it just kind of blows my mind. But here we go. And then yes. this poor chick in the middle, the Tim Pool girl. Uh, she looks like a doll. Like, I was watching. One? Yeah, she oh, looks Kyle. like she belongs in a Tim Burton movie. Yeah. She looks like a sex she, doll. No, no, she looks like she should be in like Corpse Bride. Yeah. Doesn't she? She's almost so, like, she's so pale that she's like, you can probably see all her veins so easily on Ooh. her skin. It's a look. I'm loving the Snow Queen vibe. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, should we wait for Brittany? I, I, I love the Asian girl's face. She's just like shocked. <laughs> what yeah. they're saying. And I that's the thing is I understand what you're saying, Anna, because it doesn't seem like the point of this podcast is understanding. It's like one upmanship. It's like, no, you're wrong and here's why. And no one's like really listening to one another. Well, I no one is I'm here to do that. And, and I don't I love never, panels like that. Yeah, I had never seen it until just recently. And all I could think of is, to me, it's like, here, let's like get these high IQ men and let's get really low Q, I, IQ women and, and just see what happens. Well, and that's <laughs> the thing. They farm their guests through Tinder. And these that's are actually girls brilliant. from Santa Barbara school <laughs> for the most part. I mean, it's brilliant and those are the type of girls that are very like super feminist at the time, but they haven't intellectually thought about things that they want to explain as well as they have. And it's it's almost like coming into a fight unprepared. Well, half of the time they're drunk. 100%. 100%. Yeah, that's true. That is very true. Well, also it's like a bunch of these girls are in college and they just want people to follow them on Instagram and you know, they're, they're only fans. So they're going, some of the girls, like they they don't give a shit. They're like, yeah, embarrass me. You're going to get me a thousand new followers. You're going to make my OnlyFans explode. So they go yeah. on not, you know, realizing, oh, this is going to be really embarrassing for me in like 10 years. But then in 10 years, you can laugh and it be like, oh, I was a stupid teenager or 21 year old. Yeah. 20, 21 year old me should. I'm so grateful. I was never on a podcast that young. Like, <laughs> I was so embarrassing. Was like, Damn. I'm had no good points to make like <laughs> thank god and that's why it's not fair for these young girls at Your least the the ones know. that are usually on there um the more famous people uh, i guess they're more attuned to this type of world than others like destiny is a huge debater well you know how they pick these girls right yeah they they pick they can you guys hear me? Yeah. We can You're hear you. We can't now. see you. Oh, my gosh. I might have to drop out. My internet's really bad. But I was just going to say, the um, the way they pick these girls is Brian, like, goes on dating sites. Yeah. And, like, mm -hmm. and, like goes through. So they're picking girls that are, you know, specifically... Thirsty. Yeah, and you know, doing OnlyFans, and the, they're just picking like the worst representations they can possibly find, basically, in order to uh, essentially prove like it's like confirmation bias. You think all women right. are horrible, you pick these horrible women, you further think all women are horrible. I don't know, chat. Is this how most guys feel? Because I think a lot of guys watch Simcast, so like if we're way off. Like, let us know. I mean, do these guys represent the majority of dudes right now? Absolutely not. <laughs> no. There's no way. 
that this is a very like when you think about even just politics far right far left most people end up being like pretty middle area it's the same with the space there's not okay. that okay. many over there and the the internet is just a small subset of the population most normies don't watch this type of stuff no but so, they will see the clips which is you know kind of alarming true. sometimes it's terrifying yeah. <laughs> But yeah. I think it was funny that this one, it was the, it bit these Enjoy. guys in the ass, which I mean, most of the time when you watch this show, at least like the clips that I'll see or like the couple episodes that I have watched all the way through, it's like you're waiting for them to get a gotcha on someone and you know immediately when they do. Yeah. But this one, I think it, it blew up in the way that they weren't expecting because then Brian, the host, went on Destiny's show and he's like, I think I'm going to get canceled for this clip about like the guy saying that women don't get abused. But he didn't say anything. He didn't say anything on the show. Well, so he leaves for like an hour because the I think it's the autistic chick is like banging her foot on the floor. So he's got his neighbors below yelling at him. Oh, and wow. then I think upstairs is yelling at him. So he's gone like two or three hours out of the show talking with his neighbors. Okay. Oh, and by Control the way, yourself. Snow Queen rated herself as a seven. I, yeah, maybe I would say that's fair. I don't know. It's hard for me to rate. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Yeah. So, like, it really people like that. Some people don't. It's fine. Yeah. Everyone has All right. preferences. What, um, okay, so what's, what's happening in this clip? Uh, oh yeah. Oh, it's them talking about abuse, and then them, they're like, "No, if a guy's beating you, you have to stay with them." But, but then they're like, "Oh, what if the woman cheats?" They're like, "Leave her. Done. Okay. Divorce." That's why it's yeah, like cheating was, is well, worse than abuse. You were earlier. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Try playing it for a little. Okay. This is a true statistic. Extreme and eighty percent of couples can recover from that in five years, and I think it's fundamentally selfish. And you can tell because the type of people who say that they're like, "Well, I just wasn't happy, so it's better for it's better for the child." It's absolutely not. It's not better Wait, for the child. Really, you see how the context makes it worse. They're so pride. Yeah. You, <laughs> you see, like it just made it so much worse. It's like, um, but you can like get over it or something. Wow. Um, if somebody hits you one time, that's enough for you to leave. That's enough yeah. for the, and obviously I'm not talking about like, oh, you get like, tap, like to get someone's attention, you tap them or something. We all know what hitting is. We don't have to sit here and twiddle yeah. our thumbs and wonder about the definition of what physical abuse is or what, yeah. like, we all know what generally speaking, what abuse is. Right. Yeah. It's, it's a weird thing oh, to be like, well, how much abuse? Yeah. I really mean it. Yeah. And, and I swear, mm -hmm. like, if we talked about girl and a girl abusing them, they probably say, we gotta leave her. <laughs> yeah. So true. But what's so crazy, I've I've talked to countless women who've been abused and and many of them have been abused in financially, uh physically, emotionally, and by far they will tell you that the physical abuse is the least of their concerns. The Yeah. Oh. And it's because they they can't validate it's so slippery, it's so elusive when you have emotional abuse, you you don't have proof. Whereas if somebody hit you, you have a bruise or you have right. you know, stitches or whatever. And I do believe that um, a lot of people, especially Christian people, get into this whole like, oh, well, if it's not, you know, abuse, abuse, it's not abuse. And that's right. absolutely wrong. And they go hand you know, in hand. The emotional abuse makes makes you yes. believe that you deserve the physical abuse so that you don't think mm. as much of it. You're just and like, oh, I, I did something to deserve that. Okay. And why are we abandoning the aspect of emotional abuse as a concept? People kill themselves over that. People like actually have long-term mental damage over that and affects how they interact with other people. The physical abuse aspect, the reason it's so bad isn't just because of the impact of a punch or someone slapping you or, or throwing you or choking you. It's not just the physical damage that's done. It's the mental damage that comes with that too. So well, also I don't understand the doubt why it gets the mental like doubting yourself like oh did i like you know because when that's someone's it. mentally abusing, well, just somebody's physically abusing you, you have uh that like oh my god they hit me but when it's mental it, like you doubt yourself at a point yeah mm -hmm. that's true and you need a lot and more um if you need a lot more instances with m emotional abuse before you actually even realize that it's emotional abuse at right. least for a lot of people very true. Yeah, you just feel like, oh, why does this feel so hard? Why is it impossible to like 
mm-hmm. have things yes. be calm with this person? Like, why do I constantly feel like I am working so hard to make things just be okay? And, and it's the smallest thing could, you know, make things not okay again. It's, it's like very stressful. It doesn't yeah. feel like a And that's where I think a lot of people, difficult. a lot yeah. of people miss it that men have that same abuse. It's very powerful. Emotional oh, yeah. abuse is very mm-hmm. powerful. And there's women that are just crazy, like borderlines and different types of women that are well, just Amber Heard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and, and emotional. And, and, mental and these guys <laughs> keep going back thinking, oh, something's wrong with me. And it, 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 it is that they haven't processed it yet and they have no idea even where to begin. I think that yeah, but they're, they're over here saying you're they're implying that the men yeah. too, and, and it's disgusting that they would even men say that endure it. No, hell no, absolutely not. Amen, girl. Amen. And also, like, what let what led up to this point? Because if you're at a point where you're like, oh my god, I'm being physically abused, it's like, well, clearly you, you missed- haven't set any boundaries, like. So what true. kind of shit have you been putting up with that? It's getting to a yeah. point where like you're being hit and now you're reevaluating things like. And that's the thing that people out. will not see the flags. And mm-hmm. I'm sure we've all been through it in Amen. friendships and relationships where we ignore them. We're like, oh my gosh, they seem like an amazing person. The good days are really good days. But if the bad days are more than the good days, then you kind of have to reevaluate your situation. And we business have a huge too. People not forget business. Red flags. Mm-hmm. I wish we could well, recognize that red flags. That also happens more. when you're young, mm-hmm. like when you're. It's your first, like one, you know, first or second relationship, and you don't, you don't know any better, and so you're like, oh, maybe it is just me. Maybe yep, that's I what normal that. relationships yes. are like. So okay, I'm gonna play this now. If there's someone that's very, very young and goes into a marriage and has kids when they're like 18, 19, 20. A year into the relationship, it gets really, really abusive. Even though it might be rare from what you guys think, it is. Uh, if it would happen, what would you recommend for it's really not those that people? Rare. Would they divorce or do it's you not. Want them to keep going in the relationship? Keep going. I like that they That's zoom real... in on her hand on the microphone. Like, this is not necessary, but it's like it's sexual. I'm gonna replay that. Part. If it would happen, what would you recommend for Yo, those I think people? Guys... Would they divorce or do you want yeah, them to that guy. Yeah, <laughs> this could be you, boys. He's ready. Oh, oh yeah. Keep going. You grab that sure mic. That's not a real thing. <laughs> Even though it might be like physically yeah, abusive. You gotta endure. People are too You wanna stick in the relationship? People nowadays are just situation. For anyone that might be in that situation, what would you recommend? Okay, you endure. Think, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what endure. it is such an extreme example that I can't give a prescription for what other people should do. What about if two people so, get married to have a kid and then the wife starts cheating? Do you think they should divorce? <laughs> Jesus himself said in, in cases of adultery. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. For the children, cheating, cheating, sorry, you think that cheating is worse than physical abuse? For the children, yes. Absolutely. I think, I think I'm not going to say divorce? this is worse. Than divorce is I mean, worse I, for the I, children. I, I, wow. <gasps> How do they just sit there with their hand on the microphone, ready to go with their mouths open? Like, you know Here. what though? It's so much easier to Mouth make the argument breathing. for the kids though, because that's that's obvious. Like it's it's obvious to be like, oh yeah, you want to stay together for the kids because it's very un- mm-hmm. I think it's it's very uncomfortable for them to actually think about a a real abusive situation, like to give real advice for that because that's very hard. It's much easier to be like, stay together for the kids. The kids. Nobody can argue with what's best for the kids. You know. Well, I'll say it's just also biblically, people constantly say the only reason that you should leave a relationship ever is for adultery. But if you actually look up the the Hebrew and the Greek um, origins for for adultery, you'll find that it is actually just betrayal. And think about people who betray in a relationship because they work 80 hours a week or they betray mm-hmm. a relationship because they um, they don't engage Pick up their they're, oh. they're not emotionally honest or there's thousands of ways somebody can betray interesting mm. so i, I got know. into the the actual point of this dream where she asked the question if you want to see like the whole context of what the guys say because it's, it's even worse clip. oh no i like, haven't so gotten that part yet see them. It's like it's worse. no context they don't realize what a disservice they're doing by making us play the concert we played five seconds of it and it already got oh worse. yeah no i watched some of your stream Brittany, when you're like 
The context, the context. I'm like, the context makes it worse. <laughs> Is it the same <laughs> clip, Anna? Into it knowing. It's the like, same part, but the that clip that you just played is like cut up. So it's okay. like you can see all of them and you get to hear their answers. And it's like, oh, stop okay. talking. <laughs> okay. okay. So here's oh, our I can't wait. Question. Chip, it gets really, really abusive. From who? Would you... From both. This is so if rare. Anyone, it's anyone so really. Rare. Go, I mean, on. go on, go on. My, my it, point is, I'm just, yeah. Even though it might be rare from what you guys think. It is. Uh, if it would happen, what would you recommend for those people to do? Would they divorce or do you want them to keep going in the relationship? Keep going. You can't divorce. I mean, that's not a real thing. Uh, you can like yeah. separate. See? His yeah. Catholic yeah, there's no evidence yeah. yeah. here. <laughs> God, God forces you to stay with your abuser until the rest of time. Sorry, guys. He said so, so I guess it must be I'm just going to call it, this guy's a fake Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know any real Catholics that say things like that. Like that yeah, one because I think all the structure in their Bible and what they're supposed to be doing. Yeah, no mention think- of like, hey, maybe see a therapist, f- figure out where is this anger coming from that this person has to express in the form of abuse. <laughs> like, no one's even mentioning any of that. Like, what? Yeah. So true. Like I said, this purple shirt thinks he's the voice of God. This guy, that <laughs> thinks he is God. <laughs> Take that in mind as you watch this, because it's like, this guy is like, he he gives more of like the civil answer. He's like, I'm getting canceled. She's like, <laughs> what am I doing here? I feel like I should be on the other side of the table. <laughs> I like the girl's face, face in the back. I yeah. love her in the back. Her face is amazing. <laughs> okay, here we go. You can, you can separate, but you can't actually divorce. That's not a real thing. Even though it might be like physically if, abusive. You, you got to endure. People are too... You want to stick in the relationship? Oh, easy for people them to say that. It's men who are never going to get like... Quits. Hit by somebody up. physically it's larger than hard. them in a relationship. True, crazy. exactly, this is why Chrissy. I'm so I could fuck up this no entire empathy. situation based upon me being special. And the reality is, people just haven't learned to fucking endure. There have been hard times in relationship. I'm he sure endures you guys eating all those cheeseburgers. Any relationship yeah. has hard times. I it is what it is. Buffet. You need to push through and you need what to endure because we're in this. Abused. Hold on, because what we're in this situation now, like where everybody's just creating this like super nuanced like one percent example of like well what if the kid's fucking transgender black and abused and he's a black lives matter supporter like cool okay yeah. i get like that one fucking minute no, situation this is not a real response he's being this is like a performance okay. endure. I'll, tell you what, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what endure. i don't that's i'll tell you what in- the kid has nothing to do with your relationship right <laughs> No, he just gave a bunch of shit that has nothing to do with their question. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. It's fluff. It's absolute fluff. Yeah. No. I like him. Sure. Just, I'll tell you what I would do. If if my daughter was in a relationship with a guy and she gets married to him and he starts abusing her a Kill year into it, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be showing <laughs> that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what no. did he say? I missed it. He said it. kill he the guy. Him, but he, uh, he was as a joke as if like that's what this guy would do. Got it. Right up on their doorstep and teaching him some lessons exactly. that's that's what i would do i okay, also would but, not um, if 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 i didn't have the you know capacity to do that for some reason i don't know i wouldn't want my daughter in that situation quite frankly and yeah. i understand the argument to endure because i have people close to me who grew up in abusive households and it lasted for periods of time and it was a phase and they endured through it and they ended up raising healthy successful families to an extent so I mean, you they would the say that's families. dangerous those relationships that might be abusive to everyone involved and a child if there's a i'm child. not saying like he's bringing up an interesting point because a lot of uh, yeah. there have been a lot of relationships that have that have had periods of abuse they end they work through their shit. like not all people who uh had physical abuse like break up obviously They'll, that's too high risk up- that's not worth the risk at all you could literally but i'm die. just saying it's reality like a lot of couples stay together well that- and even even with the cheating thing if like a guy cheats or a girl cheats a, a relationship can- might be able to endure that but that takes a lot of a lot of work i'll put it I, this not- way I'll put it this way. Would you guys ever expect a therapist to tell you, you go to them and you're like, yeah, my husband is physically abusing me. Do you think the therapist would ever advise you to be like, yeah, just endure, just stay with no, him? Absolutely not. Oh, no. It's not healthy. No. no. And, and to, to Brittany's point, um, if you look at, there's this gentleman on YouTube called Sam 
Backnin, and he's supposedly a level nine narcissist, like the highest level narcissist. Usually they're either dead or in jail. And he will all day long say if any child is in any relationship with any narcissist, they need to be removed. Wow. And it's tough to really realize a narcissist in a relationship. It takes about like what, like six months, three months at least. Because you're in this like honeymoon phase. You know what I think four, these men are responding to? I, I think they're uh they're reacting to this culture of um and a lot of women do this, like, oh, uh, an argument, a fight is is abuse. You know what I mean? I think they're reacting to that and not actual real Hold on, that's abuse. not true, Chrissy. Because like, earlier oh, in the clip, abuse now and poor. Yes, that is a thing where people over exaggerate, Chrissy, but that's not accurate to this clip because we saw earlier she prefaced this entire thing with, yeah, people will stay in relationships that are physically abusive because they don't want to be a single mom due to this BS that they spew. And that's what they're basing this off of. So they're not basing it off of uh, women or men over exaggerating about abuse and like going outside of what it actually means. They're specifically talking about physical abuse in this situation. So they're not really responding to that. They're responding to right. physically mm -hmm. abusive relationships. That's how this was. That's the context that was given yeah. earlier. It seems like it's not really landing with them. Well, you know what the craziest they're part all of this single, is to me? By the way. It's not going to land with anyone that's a narcissist. They, they won't see it. As a matter of fact, if you ask somebody, um, if you, if you tell somebody, this is what a narcissist is, um, and you may have those qualities, they would probably agree with you. Oh, because they're agreeable. So that who's they out here like complacent? Grading narcissists. Is there an exam you can take? Like, is there There's a, a quiz? bunch of like <laughs> channels about how to deal with people that are like narcissists? Because a lot of people, it, they encounter it in like the work force and so yeah. like when you are work for somebody that's like a complete narcissist and it's like when they hire you they're like you're like oh i have the best boss ever and then like slowly you know it unveils on you know how terrible it is and that's how you go from a great job to like a terrible job and like a hostile mm -hmm. work environment so there's a lot of like it's a big thing on youtube now like where they have youtube therapists and they just give you examples there's a really good channel. It's called Surviving Narcissism. It's like this old man mm -hmm. that just like does 15 minute videos and he just explains to you situations and how to deal with them. And you have to know because there's a lot of them. They are among us. They get ahead yeah. in life because of their narcissism, because they have no empathy. They'll do anything to get ahead. So they do get ahead. So you actually need to educate yourself on how to deal with those people because they are very dangerous. They're dangerous, they, but then they also have skills that we could learn from. And they do. That um, is true. If mm -hmm. if we if we were to be compassionate and amazing people, but to be honest, it's one of the most fascinating um, subjects to me in the world. And just like Chrissy was saying, there's like a four to six month thing, and it is actually technically four months they love bomb it's called love mm -hmm. bombing and they can do it in business yep. too anna they they mm -hmm. can absolutely mm. like you will think they are the greatest person and they morph they they can become like chameleons and they can like whatever color you are they're going to be that color whatever you know you're into oh my gosh you know we were meant for the stars and then boom it switches in like a moment and the fantasy i guess Turns well, into a lot a of nightmare. people are attracted to like a narcissist personality because when you first interact with them, they want you to think that they're the best person ever. So they do everything to make you feel amazing. Yeah, yes. they do make they're you very feel amazing. Charming. Oh, mm, they that's are how they get so ahead. magnetic. Yes. Charming, magnetic, amazing. They have all and of And they'll the give things. you, with the but love bombing thing, they'll give you gifts. They'll give you compliments. They'll give you all their time if that's like your love language and they know that. And then you're attached. That's how it turns abusive sometimes because you're so attached to those good times as we were discussing earlier that when the bad times happen, you're like, oh, but the good times. And then you stay in it and then you develop Stockholm syndrome. Yep. Mm -hmm. And it's happening on micro levels and it's happening on macro levels. Like it's happening globally and it's wild to watch. Yeah, how many there are out there. Scoops.
Uh, Magnum Norse, if I was a woman, I would take his manhood while he sleeps. Some of these dudes are acting like abuse is political. Oh, it's not. Man. And I think they do lack understanding because, like, these, they just don't understand. They've either never been in a, a physically abusive relationship or they just don't know a woman that has been. So it's hard for them to, it's, like, imagine it's that it's real. They, they're yeah. so selfish that they can't empathize with other people. On well, there's feels. single men that have never really been in a long-term committed relationship where it has, it's not just them. Like, cause when you're in a committed relationship, you're a partner and none of them know how to be a partner because they've never been an actual serious partner. I'm sure that they've dated plenty of women, but not on the level where it's like, all right, we're in this, like we're life partners. Like, I mean, you guys right. know, you know? Yeah. It well, is so it, easy for them to be in the position of, oh, here are all my requirements. I'm so picky. I have such a high value. I need a high value woman. But it's like, okay, that's not reality. You're never going to be with the perfect person. It's like, let's hear from someone. Yeah, like how, how have you lasted 20, 25, 40 years with somebody? I think that's the hard part because because at least with men that are in these spaces, they can go to pretty much any age and still be fertile and so they can date up to 50, 60, maybe even 70 and have kids. Don't recommend that. But, <laughs> um, you know. Hey, Picasso it, did it. But I, I just, I just think about like. Another artist that uh, Pearl has never heard of. <laughs> you know, I, I w I'd want my parents to be there on my graduation, university and marriage and stuff like that. So you have to think about that in the future. So, uh, in, so they can go to any age and be single and still spew out all this garbage and still have people follow them true, because true. they have the look and the confidence while they're He's speaking there. The I just want to say people, people saying that type of stuff, the, my immediate reaction is, Hmm, you know, it makes you wonder if the people there have been abusive. And, uh, then it was interesting that later on the clip came out with, um, I've been preach going over the receipts. I linked it. If you, uh, I'm going to link it now if you want it, but they show him saying that he will hit a woman and apparently he got arrested wow. for it, allegedly oh. for bashing a bottle on a woman's head um, internationally too, I think The same was. guy, the fat guy in the suit? Yeah, Smash Mouth. He's Daddy, I knew it! Owning it. <laughs> and he's I also a snake oil him. salesman. If you look at the Stop. screenshot, I can't. <laughs> oh uh, Ransom12, thanks for the super chat. No real dude agrees with them. Well, that is good to hear. I exactly. Like there's only a, there. Because only abusers would agree with them. That's who would say that. Someone who would think, oh, there's a chance I might hit a woman. So, like, therefore, I better m m leave some room there so that it's if I do it, it's actually okay. That's the only mm -hmm. people who would actually agree with that. So, like, oh, you should stay in an abusive relationship. The only people who agree with that, victims and abusers or p potential mm -hmm. abusers as Mark well. Reality. Abuse, adultery, and addiction should all lead to divorce. The idiot saying to endure is an apostate enduring enables bad behavior heck yes amen love you guys thank you for the chats thank you for the comments i will see you guys tomorrow bye bye all right love you guys oh, i don't even want to leave this candle smells so good i don't want to leave all right love you guys talk to you soon bye love you all join the discord feet love you all wow you guys are awesome Don't you get it bye guys bye now i'm really leaving love you bye